So this is our demonstration of inverse and forward kinematics with a robotic arm. This simple model is based very loosely on the Restore satellite, but this can really be adapted to any kind of uh, repair satellite or manufacturing process or any kind of robotic arm. So we can grab any point in this hierarchy with our controller and we can move this around and the inverse kinematic system will come up with a solution no matter where we move it to. And if we have, if we want to uh, move the end effector around and we don't want the whole thing to be waving around like this, then what we can actually do is grab just part of it and freeze that. And now when we move this, only the uh, only the unfrozen parts of the arm are affected. So let me unfreeze the root here. And now we're going to set one pose. Now we have one animation frame and let's set another one out here. And we can see how the, uh, how the entire arm will be oriented and we'll set one more out here. And now I'm going to play this back with forward kinematics. And it's, we're not just playing a simple animation. We're actually using the physics system to simulate the motors here. And as a result of that, we can actually detect collisions. We can uh, record the stress on each joint and the simulated forces and come up with a, much, uh, a lot of uh, useful information. So we're moving into position with the first animation frame. And now we're moving to the second one. And this is all using a Newtonian physics simulation. And we're moving to our last frame. So if we had, if we had uh, bumped into anything along this, along this uh, route, then uh, we would have that information and we can display that collision uh, visually along with the force of it and uh, any other relevant information. So we think that this is great for manufacturing or robotic repair uh, because, and the reason VR is so important is uh, two reasons. One is it gives us a lot of freedom with the controls. It would be very, very difficult to move this thing around with the mouse and keyboard, but in VR, we just point our hand where we want it to go, and it's really, really intuitive and simple. Uh, the other reason VR is really important is the stereoscopic vision. It's actually very, very hard to see the motion of a complex robotic arm like this when you're just looking at it on a flat screen. Um, and if you can imagine having another satellite here that it was working on, there would be so much occluding your view all the time that it would be very hard to, there'd be a lot of things that you would miss. Uh, but with VR, if I want to get really close to something, I just lean in. I can see everything really, really easily because of the stereoscopic vision. And you have this sense of presence that you just don't have with a traditional flat screen. I mean, all the movement that I've done in this demo you could do that with a mouse and keyboard. It would just take 10 times longer and it wouldn't be an intuitive thing where you just you know, lean in and look where you wanna look. So we think VR is fantastic for robotics and we think in the future this is going to become a very useful tool and I'm really looking forward to adapting this kind of simulation to specific hardware in the future.